after watching the Y robot. Best animated film from Universal Studios since the Back Eyes. And an amazing 30th anniversary celebration to DreamWorks. By the way, tomorrow's the 30th anniversary of DreamWorks. Happy early 30th anniversary, DreamWorks. And to celebrate that tomorrow's the 30th anniversary of DreamWorks, I review this amazing Bill Masterpiece. Hey guys, it's all to the Honey once again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Had a great day so far. My day has been really great. And my October is amazing. I know my great Jew friend Jeremy has a terrible October, but it's okay. I can handle his opinion. Opinion on October. I had a great October for me. So yeah, time to review on DreamWorks' masterpiece, The Y Robot. Came in the year of this year. I'm not gonna tell you the plot because I don't want to give you away spoilers. Because this is a non spoiler review, so you guys are safe. I will do a spoiler review on Y Robot very soon. Stay tuned for that, guys. Now, back in March 4th, 2024, a few days before Combina 4 came out, March 5th, 2024, where was a McDonald's eating, mu- eating the new burger? Mm-hmm. Eating the new burger, so I guys are gonna message back on saying I was eating my McDonald's food and I saw a try for Y robot and I said to myself Oh my goodness This is gonna be the best DreamWorks movie of all time and the best 30th anniversary celebration to DreamWorks I'm so seeing it in theaters on opening day and guess what? I did I did, guys. But yeah, this week is going to be released in September 20th, 2024. But due to Transformers 1, they delayed this movie to, up on to, to one week later. So that's okay. So yeah. And my hype for this movie really got better when I watched the trailers and the TV spots, the animation, and the people thinking of the film. I believe that when I heard the film got high ratings when I was at the Monarch Mall after I signed out to in cinema, I was so shocked and surprised that I knew the film would get high ratings. Because yeah, you probably know what I mean. So yeah. That's what I want to say. So, I did see this film in theaters today on day release at 5.20 p.m. And I did some live streams of me seeing this film. I just saw this movie. Which is pretty awesome. So, what do I think of Y Robot? Wow. Just wow. This was... A fantastic, outstanding DreamWorks and Universal masterpiece that is officially the best 30th anniversary celebration to DreamWorks. So yeah, yeah, this was, I believe, uh, this hands down the best animated film of 2024. Yeah, it's better than the Spoon Me 4. Don't you know, I like the Spoon Me 4, but this movie is better. And to be honest, I think this movie is even better than Pussy Lost Wish. Yep, I said this in camera. I think this movie is even better than Pussy Boots Lost Wish. So yeah, the story in this movie is really amazing. He has a really beautiful story. He, was a, he had a really great story. Story anyway. 
Anyway, the characters in this movie are really likable. They're really amazing. Like Bright Bill, who he's awesome. I love Bright Bill. He's great. I really like Bright Bill. Bliad, I think Bright Bill is a dog. It's a dog. Yep, I said it because Bright Bill looks like a dog. But yeah, I actually thought Bright Bill was a female. It's a female, but actually, he turned out that Bright Bill is a male. I love, and let's go talk about Fink. I love Fink. Fink is a great character. I really love Fink the Fox. He's played by none other than Pedro Pascal. That's right. The Pedro Pascal, who was, who was also in The Mandalorian. That's The Mandalorian himself. And also, he was. He's. And also, he. And also, he played a lot of great characters. Pedro Pascal is a great actor. I really like Pedro Pascal. My favorite performance from him is definitely. Think the thoughts. I really like Think. And let's talk about the animals. The animals in this film are really great, especially those little mouses things. They're great. And I really love the. And believe me, my favorite character in the film is definitely Ross. Ross, hands down, my favorite character in the film. She's very intelligent and she's so smart. And let's talk about the best scenes in the film. Which, in how many scenes will we get? Skip the. My favorite scenes in the film. I want to tell you my favorite scenes in the film, but I don't want to give away spoilers. My favorite scenes in the film are definitely. The climax, for example, the climax in this film is so amazing, and I'm not gonna tell the climax because I don't want to give away to give you too much away because you guys are safe. So yeah, my screen in this film, there were a lot of people. There were ten or eleven people seen the white robot. At least it's not packed because this is a new DreamWorks film. This is an original DreamWorks film, and I'm very glad that DreamWorks is focusing on making original films. Like this one, Pat Guys, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, and next year, hopefully, Duckman. I know this this movie is based on the book, which I will get the book soon with the cover from the film. That will be awesome. As for negatives, none. I had no single negatives of this masterpiece. And believe that. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who love this movie. Like my best friend Nikoda loves the Y robot. He loves the film a lot. And also, also CJ Bosworth's movie that loved this movie. Anya Mestri loved this movie. Kendall Everett loves this movie as well. And also, I know Lambrox Respect says he's not going to see the film in cinemas. Lamborox is back if you're watching this review. You got to watch the Y Robot. You definitely love it. I'm not banging you, but I suggest you I recommend this masterpiece. You definitely love it and blew your mind. And also what else? And believe I know Jerry Corona Lopez has never seen this movie along with Hunter Firestone. They will I did recommend this movie to them because that's a film. That I recommend for you guys. Re recommend to you guys. And here's another thing. What, what I was thinking. Oh yes, other YouTubers I know who love this film. And what else? My great new friend Chats Twenty One Storm loves this movie as well. He loves this film a lot. Even Soul, even Soul, he's gonna see the film in theaters next week. And I know my great new friend Creo Studios loves the Y Robot. He said that he loves the film. The film quite a lot. So yeah, and this is not a joke. Bliad, this is not a joke. Some of the audience, when the Y robot was over, the audience clapped. No joke. They're clapping. How amazing that movie was. They're clapping when the movie, when the credits start rolling, they clapped when the lights turned on. 
And yes, I did stay for the post credit scene. I did stay for the post credit scene. But sadly, the people leave doing the credits when there's nothing, when they didn't know there's a post credit scene, which, oh man. Oh man, it's just what it is. Ebliad. This is Ebliad. Ebliad. I really love most of the jokes in the film. The previous film is so good and it's so funny. So yeah, over guys, not, I had nothing to say about this masterpiece. The White Robot is a fantastic masterpiece, excellent film that in a couple years time, this film will become a classic. It will be remembered as the best DreamWorks movie of all time and the best DreamWorks film of all time. And the animation in this movie, this hands down the best looking animation of DreamWorks and this movie Hands down, the greatest celebration to the three years of DreamWorks. And to be honest, I would love to see this film tomorrow in 3D. I would love to see this masterpiece tomorrow in theaters, but this time in 3D. So that's gonna be awesome, guys. If you think, in, if you thought Inside Out 2 was a masterpiece, oh boy, wait till the Y Robot. You definitely love the film and. It will dethrone Inside 2 is the best. But yeah, this movie officially dethrones Inside 2 as the best animated film of this year. And to be honest, guys, I like this movie better than Pusumus Lost Wish. And to be honest, I kind of like this movie a bit more than Inside 2. Don't get me wrong, I love Inside 2, but this movie is even better. I love this movie. The story. 10 out of 10, it has a really great and beautiful story. The characters, 100 out of 10, the characters are really great. And the animation, 50 out of 10. I love the animation in the film. And no, I'm not praising this film like it's a gift from God. I just love this movie. Believe that, after seeing this film in theaters, I was crying, no joke. I was crying how amazing that movie was. And I said, oh, thank you, DreamWorks, for making a perfect 30th anniversary film. This film was so perfect. And it definitely, and believe me, this movie, you know when I gave it this movie, guys. I get this movie a Google Plats out 10. It really broke the tree out 10 to a Google Plats out 10. If you thought the Spider-Verse movies are amazing, wait till this masterpiece. This film. It's an outstanding masterpiece. It got 98% Rotten Tomatoes. And also, it got an... It got an... It got... It got an 8.5 on INDB. And many people love the film. It was loved by critics, it was loved by fans of DreamWorks who love watching the films. DreamWorks, keep up the good work making good films. I know you did some bad movies, but you did make more you did make more great films than bad for the studio. And this film got 98% on Road to Meals and also an audience score, which well deserved so White Robot. And I really hope this movie won at the Oscars. This movie won at the Oscars for Best Animated Movie. And to be honest, after seeing The White Robot, it made me want to prefer DreamWorks over Illumination. Don't get me wrong, I like Illumination, but especially the Renaissance films, but I prefer DreamWorks way better because DreamWorks makes better storytelling and makes high effort films and I'm really glad it's just me but I'm very glad that Universal bought DreamWorks in 2016 so 2016 Fox won't be with DreamWorks thank god Universal bought DreamWorks and I'm very glad it's still with DreamWorks Universal deserves to stay with DreamWorks it's a, they make a perfect team because Universal deserves DreamWorks and by the way, to be honest, I think I'm... But yeah, after watching this film, it made me want to be like Tritzy with Timmy Turner saying to, to DreamWorks, you're my new best animation division from Universal. And then I 
put I see illumination and then I sap and then do the ah doing this for fun even though I like illumination but I prefer DreamWorks 1000 times better overall this week gets a Google Platinum 10 it's a perfect excellent film that is a work is a masterpiece that is a work from the seventh art ah yes what an amazing movie it was. I will see this movie a bit more often. Not as much as other films, but a little bit more often. And I cannot wait to get this film Blu-ray next year. That's the film I'm putting in my collection. So I can rewatch it over and over, one and again and again and again, until I get tired. But Leon, I gotta say this right now. This movie might be my new favorite anime movie of all time. This movie might be my new favorite anime movie of all time. So yeah, hey by the way guys, and before I end this video guys, after seeing this movie, I would love to see NY Robot 2. Just for its ending, you can, you can tell there's going to be a Y Robot 2 very soon. So I don't know when, but maybe DreamWorks or Universal will do a Y Robot 2. So, they go, so because Y Robot will definitely have potential to be a trilogy. I think Y Robot deserves a trilogy. It deserves to be a franchise. And I want to see a Y Robot TV show with the animation of the movie. So yeah. We're gonna end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like it, share your friends. And stay tuned for my... And... Oh, stay tuned for my... Oh God! My rant of Megamind versus the Doom Syndicate. Oh God, wish me luck. And by the way, I will compare this masterpiece to Mega Man 2 in my rant coming tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. And also, do you need a stint sense, guys? You love my review on the film? Yeah. Bye.